These are some of the coldest waters in the world. The salty southern ocean surrounding Antarctica can reach 28.4 degrees without freezing. At these temperatures, falling overboard can kill within 15 minutes. Even so, many species call these cold waters home. Animals whose behaviors and needs are frosted in enigma. And where there are mysteries, there are humans willing to brave the dangers of the icy seas to thaw out secrets that could illuminate the future of our world. The Antarctic Treaty of 1959 establishes and protects Antarctica as a continent of peace and science. All nations adhere to environmental protection protocols, particularly in Antarctic specially protected areas, or ASPAS. Just like the continent itself, the surrounding ocean is carefully protected. Wildlife migrates to these waters every year, and perhaps no feeding ground is more important than one off the coast of the Antarctic Peninsula, the northernmost tip of the mainland. Do you see any particular sites of concentration? Or is it... Back in here, if it's calm, this is where those animals will be sleeping. Oh, nice. Dr. Ari Friedlander is one of the preeminent scientists and conservationists in his field. His goal is to study humpback and minke whales, to find out how their ecosystem responds to a changing climate. We're trying to measure the underwater behavior and movements of the whales, get an estimate of their size, and we're trying to understand what whales need to survive and the amount of food that they eat. This is a place where people have made huge changes in the environment. Over the last 50 years, the winter air has raised uh, by about five degrees Celsius. The sea ice over the last 30 years in this part of the peninsula has decreased in the number of days that are ice covered. There's a huge standing stock of krill here, and that's what they need to feed on. Ari is on a moving boat, trying to dart a moving whale. But if his aim is true, the resulting biopsy sample will be invaluable for his research. It's amazing. Just go grab the dart now. All right, excellent. So successful shot. You can see the blubber uh, hanging out of there. There's the whale. No worse for wear. Back up at the surface. All right, I think we hit a home run today. This is just insane. This one right underneath us. We've got two really friendly, curious whales here. Really unique opportunity for us to see the animals up close. There is no place in the world where you feel smaller than Antarctica. The fact that you're working with animals that are as big as, you know, a school bus, it makes you feel small very quickly. This is extreme wilderness. This is nature without any filter on it. And for us to have the opportunity to be there and to work in that environment, to me, I couldn't ask for anything more. Take a 90 degree turn, Lars. Yep. More luck than skill, for sure, at this point. Ari and Lars are looking for a video tag they put on a humpback whale with only a few hours before their ship heads home. Whales shed their skin regularly, so the tag is probably detached, hopefully not out of reach under the thick ice. It's beeping consistently. The strength of the signal kind of changes depending if you're focused on where the tag is. I see it. All right, I see it. It's nice. about 30 meters off our port bow. Yeah. Got it. You got it? You got it's visual fun. on it? Sweet. That is a very welcome sight. Yes. Oh, there we go. That's it, buddy. Nice Good work, job. man. Nice work. When we get the tag back, it's it's certainly like like a little gift. 
but we don't get anything until we make sure that all the data is on there. Hopefully, this is going to work. It'll show us if it's got tagged data. You think you've done everything right, and until you absolutely confirm it with data, you never know what's going to be in there. Oh, well, that's it. Very nice. See the tag? Yeah. 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 This is what we're hoping for, exactly. Yeah. We turn it into a time depth profile. That allows us to see all of the dives that the animal made, and then we can start to link up the video based on the time with different dives. The Antarctic Peninsula is changing literally right before our eyes. The number of sea ice days is decreasing. The temperatures are going up. And because of that, the critters that live down there are stressed in different ways. And understanding what it is about those animals that allows them to either thrive or not thrive in this, this changing climate is really important to us so that we can understand how in the future this system is going to look.